Alright, and once again, my name is Charles. And this is section two of this particular chapter. We are talking about the basics of worship from we did la the last time we did uh, chords and sofas and all keys. So we are going to treat something important today. It's called harmonization and reharmonization. Okay. And we are going to do this in every single key. Every single key. So I'm going to start from C sharp and move all the way to C. Okay. So when we talk about harmonization, the question is what is harmonization? What really makes harmonization important is that like whenever you are playing songs, yeah, uh, you don't want to sound like how the singer is actually singing the thing, right? Like when the person is playing a do re mi, you want to voice it with something like that. Okay, so I'm like So instead of playing, you know the thing is do So instead of just playing do re mi like normal chords, playing like do. Now compare that one to a more harmonized version of the same do re mi. So I'm playing something like. So you realize that the harmonized one, I voiced the do re mi instead of just playing the do re mi chords itself. Okay. So whenever we are talking about harmonization, we mean something different. Like when I say harmonize a la, I don't mean play a la chord. Okay. But when I say play a la chord, I mean play a la chord. But when I say harmonize a la, I'm talking about something which is totally different. So when you look on top of the screen and I write la, there, I'm not playing a la chord. I'm harmonizing a la. So you see a la, then into brackets H, it means harmonize, right? Now, so let's start. When the song, this is how we, this is how we practice harmonization. When the song has a do note in it, like for example, we had a, a do, nyami do, re, mi. When, when a song has a do note, okay? How do you harmonize a do note, okay? Now, there are two ways you can harmonize a do note. You play a chord, okay? A six chord. What did I say? A six chord or a la chord. That has the one on top. Any inversion of a la, that has a one on top. Any inversion of a six chord, that has a one on top. Any inversion of a la, that has a do on top. Okay? So, in B, in, in C sharp, our la is B flat minor. Okay? So, it consists of the six, the one, and the three. Okay? So, you are going to play an inversion where the one will be on top. Where I have the two other elements of my six chord. So this is the inversion I'm going to play. I'm going to play the three, the six, and the one. Okay. Which happens to be which happens to be the second inversion of a of a B flat minor. Okay. This is the root inversion of a B flat minor. Okay. This is the first inversion of a B flat minor. And this is the second inversion of a B flat minor. So whenever you want to voice or harmonize a one, okay. You play a six chord that has a one on top. You play a la chord that has a do on top. Or in other words, you play the second inversion of a la. Okay? So in any key, you play the second inversion of a la. What are you going to play? You're going to play a mi la do. Mi la do. Okay? Three, six, one. Okay? Then there's another way to voice the, the, your one. When the note is a one. What do I mean by when the note is a one? Example, when the song is playing Ejo. Okay. The Ejo is Do. So how are you going to harmonize? You are going to play this line. Okay. I'll come there to the rest, right? This is what I mean. So now when it is when it is a, a Do, you harmonize it with a La, second inversion of a La. Or the first inversion of a Do. So there are two things you can do. This is a do. This is a C sharp major, right? The first inversion of a C sharp major. This is it. Root inversion, first inversion. So you still realize that it has the one on top. It has the do on top. That is the whole trick. You are getting the do on top. Even if you add this one, this, this, this is still dominant. Okay, you see the do. Okay. Do. Okay. Instead of something like. Yes, 
cantar ahí. When it's a do, I told you you can play a la or a do. All of them with inversions that has a do on top, right? So in C sharp is B flat minor, second inversion. Or C sharp major, first inversion. These are the two things you can harmonize your do with. Okay? Your do note with. Okay? Good. Now, when you when come to, when you come to uh, T, like I'm going backwards, when you come to T, which is C in C sharp, okay? Which is T, okay? Now you harmonize a T with a five, okay, with a so, but this time around, play an inversion of a so, play an inversion of a five, that has the seven on top, okay? Normally, a five, the root inversion of a five is a five, a seven, and a two, okay? So, so, T, Re, so, T, Re, so, G sharp, major G sharp, C, E flat, okay? So you are playing an inversion where you have the C on top, okay? So this is the only inversion of a five that has a seven on top, okay? So that I can voice my word, I can voice my seven, okay? And mind you, this is the very basic level of harmonization, okay? Somebody can choose to voice this, this seven with this, okay? So not only is he playing a G major, okay? A G major, the, what, which version of G major? This is the root inversion. Okay, this is the first inversion. Then this is the second inversion of a G, G sharp major. Sorry, it's G sharp, not G major. G sharp, second inversion of G sharp major. Yeah? But the person can choose to play a G sharp major seven. Sorry, the person can choose to play a G sharp seven. Now there's a difference between G sharp major seven and G sharp seven. When I say a G sharp major seven, this is what I mean. G sharp major seven. This is a G sharp major seven. A G sharp major, then I flat the one. But when I say a G sharp seven, I go a whole step backwards. I don't go a half step. So I play this. This is a G sharp seven. Okay. So the second inversion of a G sharp seven will harmonize your T or your seven. Or just keep it at G sharp. Second inversion of G sharp. Root inversion of G sharp. First inversion of G sharp. Then second inversion of G sharp major. You, it is optional to add the seven. Okay. Now let's go on. So I told you when you want to harmonize the do, you play a la second inversion of a six or the first inversion of a one. When you want to harmonize a seven, you play the second inversion of a five. In our case, which is G sharp, second inversion of a five. Keep the numbers in your head and keep the sofas in your head. And if, if, if you don't mind, you can even forget about the original name of the key because now when we move to any other key, when we move to C, I'm not going to look for G sharp. I'm going to look for the five. So it, it will be easier for you to understand it that way. So that's why I'm using degrees, okay, and surface instead of the real names. But I mentioned the names though. So G sharp, second inversion of a G sharp, or second inversion of a G sharp seven, okay, to, to voice your T, okay. Now be keeping it in mind. Now when we come to our sex, which is our la, how do we voice it or how do we harmonize it? Now we can harmonize it by playing an inversion of a four, okay, an inversion of a four with a six on top, okay. You get it now. We can seventh it. We can we can play that four major seven. Sorry, we can play the four seven. No four major seven. Four seven. This is a major seven. Four seven. But let's keep it at four. A four, an inversion of a four, with this six on top or with this la on top. Okay. So what are we playing? We are playing this F sharp major. Fa la do. Okay. That's a root inversion. La do fa. First inversion. Okay. Then do fa la. Second inversion of a four. What did I say? Second inversion of a four. That has a six on top. Will voice your six or your la. So do fa la, do fa la. So when when you notice a one, you voice with it a la. Second inversion or a do first inversion. When it is a T, you voice it with a so. Second inversion. When it is a la, you voice with it a fa. Second inversion. Okay. So we are playing, we are playing this la, so, fa. But, but in ideal, in a, in ideal fact, you are playing do, so, la, do, la. Okay. Instead of just playing a normal do, and a normal t, and a normal la, we are harmonizing this way. Do, la. Okay. 
I told you the la second inversion of a four or a five. Okay, let's go again. Now let's harmonize our our five. Okay. Now this 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 is a bit tricky. Okay. Whenever you want to harmonize this five, there are two things you can play. The first one, you are going to play an inversion of a three diminished chord. Okay. That has the five on top. What did I say? A three diminished chord. So locate your three. In C sharp, our three is F. Our me is F. Okay. So as we are locating our F, you are going to play a diminished chord with the F. Okay. So let's form a diminished chord from the F. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Now let's play an inversion that has this five on top. So we are bringing this B all the way backwards. So this is what we are having now. Okay. And this is what everybody calls tall in Ghana. This is it. Okay. So we have a flat seven, we have a three, and then we have a five. By ideal, it's just a three. And you form a diminished chord from the three. That's it. That's what we call tall. So this is it. Now what I'm doing here is I'm teaching you into details. When I go into the other keys, I'll just show you the names of the chords. But what I'm doing here, I'm actually teaching you why I'm playing this inversion or that inversion. But when I go into the other keys, I'm just going to move straight forward. You understand? So in C sharp, I'm I told you I'm, I'm locating my three and then I'm playing a diminished chord. Mm -hmm. Then I invert it where I have my five on top. So I'm literally playing a three diminished chord. Okay? With my five on top. And the second thing you are going to, the second thing you can do to this is that instead of you just playing a three diminished chord with a five on top, instead of you just playing a three diminished chord with a five on top, you can simply play a chord that has a flat two inside. So you can simply locate your flat seven chord, flat seven note, and then form a diminished seven chord from it. When you form a diminished seven chord from a flat seven, automatically the last note will be a five. Okay? So you, you look for your diminished, uh, you, sorry, you look for a flat seven chord, okay? Flat seven, and then form a diminished seven chord from a flat seven. So this is our flat seven, that's our tall. Okay? Now, so this tall, we are going to form a diminished seven chord from it. So this tall, what do we do? We count this B, we count one, two, three, we hold it. Count one, two, three, we hold it. Count another three, one, two, three, we hold it. So this is it. You need four fingers for this. Okay? You can just voice it with this one. So four fingers, you need four fingers for this. Okay, so you can play two ways. The first way is a three diminish this particular inversion. Okay, or you can play a flat seven diminish seven. Okay, this is still tall. It's literally a tall with a D. Okay, a tall with a, a flat seven with a flat two inside. Okay, I told you one six la inversion. Okay, this T is a so inversion. This lie is a fire inversion. And then this so is either, this is tall, it's either a three diminished or a flat seven diminished seven. Okay? Then, when it comes to a four, how do you voice a four? When you want to voice a four, you actually play an inversion of a two array that has the four on top. So let's see it. This is it. So you're going to play an E flat minor, but this, an inversion of E flat minor that has a far, that has a four on top. Okay? Okay? Yeah, you can add this uh, if, if you want. And then you can also add the 7. Okay? E flat minor 7. You can do this. Just to voice your 5 or your 4. Okay? You want to voice your And then a do. Sorry, a me is a do with a me on top. A do with a me on top. Or a do 7 with a me on top. When it comes to 2, there are so many ways you can voice a 2. Number one, you can play a normal root inversion of a five to voice your two. Okay. Normal root inversion of a five to voice your two. Okay. Number two, you can play an inversion of a seven diminished chord, right? You can play an inversion of a seven diminished chord. You are playing a T. Okay. Now, when you play this T, make sure the two is on top. Okay. So ideally, you are playing a T that, that has a two on top. So you are playing a T that has a two on top. And another way you can also voice your two is actually to play a two that has a two on top. An inversion of a two with a two on top. So what are we going to play? E flat minor, but the two is on top. So the first one, normal G sharp, or normal so with the two on top. 
or a T with a two on top, or a two with a two on top. Okay, so now let's start from the beginning. I told you when you want to harmonize a one, the simple la with a do on top. T is a slow with a do, it's a T on top. La, it is a fa with a la on top. So it's a to with a so on top. Or a to the minus seven with a so on top. And then the fa is a re with a fa on top. And then a do, sorry, a mi is a do with a mi on top. A do with a mi on top. Or a do seven with a mi on top. When it comes to re, you can either play a so, a t, or a re. Okay, now let me explain this again for the last time. When you are when you are voicing a one, when you are harmonizing a one, you play a la, an inversion of a la that has a do on top. When you are harmonizing a, a seven, you play a five, an inversion of a five that has a seven on top. In this case, C sharp, this is it. Okay, when you are voicing a six, you play a four that has a six on top. When you are voicing a, a, a five, you play an inversion of a diminished three chord that has a five on top. Total. Or just play a flat seven diminished seven. You can still have the five on top. When you are voicing a five, just play a two with a sorry, when you are voicing a four, just play a two with a four on top. Okay, when you're harmonizing a three, just play a one with a three on top. Or just play a one with a three on top and add a seven. Flat seven. Okay, now when you want to harmonize a two, you can just play a normal root inversion of a five. Or another inversion of a seven that has the two on top. Okay, which is basically the second inversion of a seven. Okay, or you can play a normal two. The first inversion of a two to get a two on top. Okay, so now let me play a simple pattern. Like we we'll teach you patterns in the next chapter. Like I'm just brushing through. So there's a pattern. It's a very very common pattern that has. Okay, so in this case, that's how I'm going to play. I'm going to play. Some, some basic concept like when you want to end the song and all those things in, chap in chapter 3 so watch out for those things so when you see me doing certain things here and you don't understand don't worry we'll treat them in, in uh, chapters coming everything is not in this chapter this chapter is mainly for harmonization and reharmonization from beginner to above okay so I hope you understand the whole concept about harmonization right so I'm in C sharp I look for my la then I put my do on top to voice my do Look for my soul, put the T on top. Look for my fa, put the la on top. Look for the to, put the so on top. Look for the re, put the fa on top. Look for the do, put the mi on top. Look for the re, put another re on top. Okay, again. Okay. So that is it for harmonization and reharmonization in C sharp.